over to Milster. Trying to get it in the fall. Nice front, but nice pass inside. That's too easy as Amanada Fall gets the points to go. And that was number 15. Cox over to Boyd. Right wing. Clears it out. Fall like, takes that jumper. Gets it to go. Nice shot by Fall. Earlier about one of the keys to the game, I think, is uh, the rebounding. So uh, with Amanada Fall, not really much, uh, not really much on three-point range. So uh, I think when they're uh, they're – but keen on her on the outside, and that's opening it up inside to get to the bucket. Or would you rather have a team that's got the ability to really shoot the three-point shot on a very accurate mark as Ashley Hutchings knocks one down? It's nice to have both, but which aspect do you think is Place best? No, I'm yeah. just kidding. Um, SNU's defense, like we talked about so far, is the reason they've developed a little bit of lead here. Already four seven turnovers, so uh, as Milster makes that makes that bucket inside, I think you know, contest there uh, by, by, I believe, was Abby Boyd on that play. Um, so... Uh, the, the, they're doing a better job. Uh, we saw we saw playing pretty well. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, that's right. They've been able to uh, pretty much do what they want inside as we see another bucket there. Um, as, uh, so she hasn't picked up two yet. Nice floater there by Abby Boyd as she's able to put it in. And a smart play there. Callie Cox along that right side trying to work into the senior Kristen Milster. Puts it up, knocks it down. And Milster's one of those most consistent players. Of the turnovers we saw in the last few possessions, which was able for, uh, to allow them to go on a little bit of a run there as we see Milster uh, kind of put that run to a stop. Uh, one of the big aspects we haven't looked at yet is that uh, since I'm not a fall has gone out of the game, uh, their percentage has gone uh, sky, <laughs> sky high. Yeah, we'll see if SNU can get a good look here uh, in this final possession for them for the first half. Milster comes inside off the glass, up and in. Nice job. Clock continues to run. Hang on to it for just a second. Try and milk the clock to where they have the last possession. But here comes the drive. Puts it up. Blocked out of bounds. That'll stop it at seven seconds. Shot no good. Would have been good if they got it in time, but no good there. 43-40. to 40. We're going to go down to our sideline reporter real quick, Matt Schellenberger. And Matt, things on the court getting a little heated right now as Henderson State went on quite a run to end that first half. What do you think they got to do to turn it around here in the second? Been able to get her hand up there and defend those shots real well as we see Ashley uh, make a layup inside. Hutchings. Moving her feet on the defensive end. Uh, so if she's able to stay in front of Sledge and force her to take some contested shots, I think that'll give SNU the best chance. I mean, on a fall with a quadruple double, it's really not as uh, impressive anymore to see the triple doubles as many times as we've seen it. Oh, but yeah. a nice pass there, puts it up and in. And Milster, two more points on the board. So that's under her belt in a situation like this definitely could come, on, co come in handy. It's a nice play there by Callie Cox after the pass. That's that's we know that's a good defensive play like we just saw there. Inbounds pass by Hutchings to Milster up and in for two. As well as as well as uh, people that can shoot from the outside too. That always helps too. So I can start with a uh, good point guard though. A good point guard. Always. Davis gets the floater that time into Aminata Fall takes the hook puts it up and in off the glass and then yet another nice move by Fall. Yeah, if you're continue to play, I mean, continue to contest shots from the outside. Uh, as we've seen, I'm not a fall make that bucket, but uh, I think if you're coaching there with Abby Boyd, I'm not a fall. Callie Cox and Ashley Gorman as Boyd puts up the jumper from the left elbow and knocks it down. Closing uh, quarter, so to say, but the uh, closing 11 minutes of the second half here inside the Sawyer Center and a nice move there by Callie Cox. She can do it because that's really all it comes down to is that shot selection. And any time you got the presence out there, able to knock down yet another by him and on a fall, but. Anytime he's not got afraid to take it inside there and uh, and uh, battle with the bigs. I think that might have been the first time that Hutchings' name has ever been caught in uh, earlier. She's back out there on the floor, kind of that defensive presence, but uh, passed into her on offense this time. I'm sure she'll be back on sledge just as soon as they're on the defensive end. Yeah, yeah as we see her uh, get a bucket there. Uh, Neil Gaddis. And it looks like the Reddies might have shifted to a little bit of a zone. Yeah, they've, uh, they're have they trying to force some outside shots there as we see Callie knock down that three. Allen and looking on the offensive side over to Callie Cox. Three-point is up and good. And that makes an 80-62 to 62 advantage at the Division II ranks. But uh, kind of taking some of the pressure off of Sledge to, to score the basketball as Abby Boyd does it there for SNU. Head coach Derek Doris as Aminata Fall rips through, goes up and off the glass, puts it in. And she'll head to the free throw line with a chance. Uh, kind of near in four minutes, so I think we'll see her uh, get a little more aggressive on the offensive end and see if she can get some uh, buckets. Beautiful pass by Boyd, and Gorman's going to put it up, and that really Come in and give you five, ten points off the bench, you know, is always huge uh, in determining if you're going to win a game or not. So I'm going to fall back into the ballgame after Cox fouled out. They'll get it into her in the low post, takes the jumper, knocks it down. 
That puts her with 24 points tonight. Com and a, a big victory for you and your teammates tonight. First and foremost, congratulations on the win. Thank you. So I'm in mean, on a fall over 20 points tonight, 26 total and 20 rebounds as well. Congratulations on joining that club, by the way. Thank you. So on 20 rebounds tonight, can you tell me coming into the game, you know, your team overall, you, you actually got out rebounded, but you, you put it forth a really great effort, really collecting a lot of boards. Did you kind of make that a priority tonight as you usually do? Yeah, tonight was. Awesome. Since like they good team on offense, so we trying to get more deep, uh, rebound and all that. And I know if I don't step on the rebound, like we'll struggle more since I'm taller than everybody. So I just focus on that first. Absolutely, we've seen a lot of people on your team. Some of the younger players, Abby Boyd and uh, uh, Danielle Gaddis, really coming in and playing big roles for you guys. Can you speak to how they've really gotten better as the pr season has progressed? Yeah, we needed that because since like we have three players that every time score like uh, over 20, but we're still not winning. So we needed like a couple people that like can score more. So they step up and they've been working hard at practice and all that. They dedicated, so we needed that. We know over the past couple of years, this team has always been a defense first team. Can you kind of speak to that tonight? Uh, really coming out and, oh, for, excuse me, for the rest of the season, hoping to end things on a good defensive note. I mean, we finally realized that defense wins games, so we're just going to build from this and work more on our defense and win over the all the eight games left. Absolutely. Tonight's player of the game, Amin on fall and an SNU victory. Thanks for the time and great job out there. Thank you, Chris. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be with head coach Derek Doris. You're watching SNUAthletics.com. And welcome back to SNUAthletics.com. Here with head coach Derek Doris. And coach, first and foremost, congrats on the win. It must feel good to be home. Yeah, it, not only to be home, but, uh, you know, we were kind of on a three-game slide. And it, more importantly, just how well we played. So proud of, uh, of all our players. I mean, just came out. We executed. Uh, what we needed to do, stayed composed and poised, and they came and made back that made that run, and, and just was able to finish this game off like we've done. So again, it's just a maturation of this team. Uh, hopefully, we can continue it. Uh, we got to be another game Saturday. We got to continue this momentum. Another home game on Saturday, and we expect yet another great performance from Amina to fall. We saw a great one tonight. 20 rebounds alone by herself, really pitching in the effort tonight. Uh, 26 points, 20 rebounds. I mean, just a phenomenal job by her. Not only that, but getting on the floor. Uh, a few times. I mean, by far, I think her best game in all facets. One of the things, as you said, a maturation process. One of the things that you can learn from uh, the other team, really, over just about 30 free throw line visits tonight. How do you take that? How do you learn from it and grow with it? Well, at the same time, we don't need to we don't need to foul. I think down here, there towards the end, we got an over the back or a push and foul 94 feet away from the bucket. In that situation, we just need to get back. I mean, we, a couple times we let them get in a transition layup instead of just getting back on defense and making them shoot the tough two. But you know, like I said, I, I you know, no one's perfect, no team is perfect. But as a coach, you can always see it. You always have a critical eye. One of the things we saw tonight was a lot, as you said, that maturation process, a lot of young players stepping up. Uh, some of the players you mentioned earlier being younger, like even Callie Cox, not necessarily a lot of floor time right. in the past couple of years, but tonight, whenever your team was able to kind of stop some of those runs, she was the one coming through hitting some big buckets. You know, early on, her shot wasn't falling a little bit, and then they went zone, which I thought, was, you know, gave her an opportunity to get back in rhythm. She hits the three into the near side, and then she hits the three off the far side, which I think helped us out. I think it extended the run a little bit at that time. So what are you telling your team hoping to get into the rhythm here at the closing of the season. Last year you really went on a run this time of year hoping to do the same. Uh, you know, we just got to stay smart, do the little things correctly. You know, we got to stay, play championship basketball, so you got to practice like a champion. And so, you know, do the little things right, go to class, make sure we're taking care of our responsibilities. Because here we go. Let's get on the roll. Absolutely. Congrats on the win. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thank you. And we'll take a quick break when we come back getting ready for the men's games. You're watching SNUAthletics.com.